Well, I mean, these bar owners, bar owners are still wondering when they're going to get to see their customers again. And we talked to people who work in the industry today about the kind of impact this extended shutdown is going to have on their businesses and how they plan to move forward. Their witness in Winston-Salem is known for its signature cocktails. We want it to be sort of a nice, uh, fun uh, date night cocktail bar. Everything's made in-house. Due to COVID-19 shutdowns, however, it has been months since drinks have been poured here. Now that it's gotten to this place where everything but bars are open, that's a little tougher to swallow because it really doesn't make a great deal of sense. Bars are one of the few categories of businesses still ordered closed in North Carolina due to the coronavirus. Unfortunately, we've had to let all of our employees go twice now. Uh, we did the PPP. We put 100% of our PPP loan to our staff. Uh, and it still wasn't enough to hold on for the duration necessary. So uh, we're just trying to make sure the bills stay paid. Blake Stewart is one of the co-owners of Fair Witness. He says he's confident they'll eventually bounce back, but knows other bars won't be able to. A lot of folks are, are at their wits end, uh, yeah. frankly. And, and, you know, they have leaned to everything from loans and, uh, you know, forgivable grants and uh, rent deferments and forgiveness. And it just doesn't mean that you're going to have enough at the end of the month. Meanwhile, at Hotel Indigo, also in downtown Winston-Salem, also home to a bar, drinks are being served. So it's catastrophic. I mean, uh, when you think they've already had six months of the whole year's business taken from them. Sir Winston's wine bar and restaurant is within a hotel, so it has a different designation from the state. I can understand some of the reasons, but I just think it's a very unfair situation where people could walk into our hotel restaurant, sit at the bar and just have a general drink, and they can't go uh, down 4th Street to sort of friends and business associates we know and do the same there. I think it's a very inconsistent. He says it has been an adjustment, but through temperature checks, intense cleaning and cooperation from guests, it allows them to operate safely. Back at the bar, Stewart is hopeful to make similar adjustments, have cocktails back in glasses and patrons inside again soon. I think we're going to get a robust amount of support. And the owner of Fair Witness brought up an interesting point. As you can see, he has some patio space outside. He also has some room to allow people to social distance inside once they're given the okay to open back up. He says even once that okay comes, whenever that is, he's worried about bars that aren't able to follow the guidelines. He says he's really worried about them. In Winston-Salem, Leanne Denyer, WXII 12 News.